Justice here. I'm going to show you how to build this. What is this you say? It is an automated chicken farm. It will produce cooked chicken most of the time. Right now, we've had a few raw pieces of chicken come in. But basically how it works is it uses the principle of an invisible block and a block update. So I'm going to show you the components that we need. Right here. So you'll need a bucket of lava, redstone, some sort of building material. I'm going to use iron because it's hard to get in regular gameplay, so it's fun to use when you can. You're going to need a lot of eggs, trapdoor, a hopper, which is made by five iron ingots and a chest, a redstone comparator, which is made by three redstone torches, a piece of quartz, and stone, a repeater, which is made by two redstone torches, redstone, three pieces of stone. You'll need a chest, which is made by making a box with any type of wood, and you'll need a dispenser. The dispenser is made with cobblestone, a piece of redstone, and a bow, but the bow has to be in perfect working order. So let's come around here and we're going to start by laying out our base. The base is going to be three blocks wide and six blocks long, but we're going to notch out those two blocks. I'm going to drop in a chest and let's grab a hopper. We want to place a hopper stone slab on top or any type of uh, slab that won't burn. So you can use nether, nether brick stone, regular brick, anything like that. Let's get our dispenser. Now you're going to want to place one dispenser behind. Shift click the dispenser in front of it. Just like that. And then you can remove that dispenser. Let's build this up. grab our piece of glass and that's more or less the start of it so I'm gonna just get a hopper so I can place it on top and then let's build the mechanism for that you're gonna need redstone your repeater and your comparator so lay out a comparator back facing the back. You want it set to subtract and we want to put a repeater immediately after that. That's so the redstone dust does not connect with anything that we don't want it to connect to and it will also boost the signal. Next we're going to want a redstone repeater going into this block. What it's going to do is it's going to send a redstone signal to that block which will trigger our dispenser. And then we want to place another one here. And that's just so our redstone dust doesn't feed into this repeater at all. Then fill on the remaining spots with dust. So I'm going to throw in a slab. Stand right here and hopefully you can see how this works. Basically the signal is going to get sent out and it's going to go in two directions. It's going to go this way to cycle the comparator and it's going to go this way to fire the dispenser. Then you're going to throw in another hopper and wrap the whole thing in whatever your material is. You don't want to go too high. This is so the chickens don't get out. 
And let's grab some eggs. Now, eggs, I believe it is a one in eight chance of spawning a chicken. So you need a lot of eggs to get chickens. Once you have two chickens, though, they will grow up and you can use seeds to spawn more. Let's bring this up and add our lava. And just like that. So basically how this works is a baby chicken is not a full block high. So it'll land on the slab and it'll stay there until it grows up to a full block. Once it grows up to a full block, here we've got it right here, it'll catch on fire, die, and your drops, you still haven't gotten any, are going to be cooked chicken and feathers. The hopper connects down and feeds into the dispenser. When an egg drops in, it's going to fire the mechanism, it pops the chicken. This is super easy to do. It's uh, very effective when you have lots of chickens in the dispenser. Let's drop our trap drawer over here. And it's a fairly efficient source of food. Uh, chicken is not the best, mutton is the best, but chicken lasts a lot longer than vegetables. And even though this is a fairly expensive piece to make, given that you need iron and quartz and a bow and all that stuff to be able to make it, it uh, is well, well worth it. It's usually one of the first things I build when I get into a world, even on survival. Um, I build it out of cobblestone, not iron block, but the principles are the same. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.